from the best vegan restaurants to local island life. I've got that and more here in Athens, Greece. Arrival. We are at Yi, which means earth in Greek. We've got some delicious roll and some stuffed mushrooms, some zucchini, uh, pasta, Caesar salad. Another cool place is Trivoli. It's an all vegan coffee shop that also offers some vegan food options. One of my favorite restaurants in Athens was Rosebud. It's a fully vegetarian place with lots of vegan options, and I shared with my host some tomato meatballs, vegan yogurt-based cheese pizza with faux sausage, and Slovaki, also known as Euros or Gyros, depending on where you're from. Okay, definitely best place to get sweet or dessert here in Athens is ice queen. It's near Acropolis or near the Parthenon, the museum, Acropolis Museum. So it's within walking distance to some really great stuff. Check this out. We've got a vegan waffle with vegan mocha gelato, vegan dark chocolate gelato, and vegan Nutella. I mean... Bamboo Vegan is a really cool, completely vegan grocery store, the only one in Greece. It's a really cool couple that runs the shop, and they've been doing it for about five years. They've got a little bit of everything in there. The Lukankovita, it's a vegan sausage roll, uh, pretty much, with uh, some herbs inside and tomato ketchup. It's like a classic Greek thing that we eat here as uh, non-vegan, so we did a veganized version of it, because, like, uh, you know, people ask for it a lot, and something you cannot get easily. If you're into beer garden kind of places, definitely check out 500 miles away. They've got a wide selection of beer, alcohol, and wine, as well as some vegan food options. Headed to a vegan meetup at Avocado. It's one that I arranged with Vegan Travel, uh, my sponsor for this trip. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, it's, the meetup is scheduled for a bit earlier in the day that people usually get together for dinner time meals. So we'll see who shows up. Uh, oh, we're here. If you ever find yourself walking around the tourist area near Acropolis, you'll find this freshly pressed juice place. You can build your own juice and it's really cool and you can drink it right there in these glass mugs. Something I kept hearing a lot about are the local lukamades. They're kind of like donut holes. This location in particular is known to have the best lukamades in entire Athens. Another favorite stop I made was at Mama Tierra. It's a vegetarian restaurant with lots of vegan options and the owners are super nice. It's definitely the best falafel I think I've ever had. It was perfectly crispy on the outside and fluffy and wonderful on the inside. Before we move on from the food, I just want to give a quick shout out to my host in Athens, Dimitra. She insisted on making wonderful, wonderful brunches for me or breakfasts every morning that I stayed with her. Dimitra, thank you so much for your hospitality and delicious food. There's always something to see or do in Athens. Have a stroll around the Plaka district where there's shopping, museums, historical architecture, and unique art. You can visit the most central square in Athens, Syntagma. Visit the National Archaeological Museum or the Acropolis Museum. And of course, be sure to make time to visit the 5th century BC temple monument that is the Acropolis of Athens. Also home to the Parthenon, an iconic 5th BC Athenian temple ruin. There are lots of historical monuments to visit. If you want to change things up, check out what's happening with local theater. 
catch an open-air cinema show or live theater surrounded by some of the most notable historic ruins. Or heck, go to a concert like we did here and went to see Pink Martini. No trip to Greece is complete without visiting at least one of the thousands of stunning islands. While the island of Santorini may be one of the most popular tourist destinations, I took a short ferry ride to the island of Aegina. Known for producing some of the world's best pistachios, this beautiful island is home to many Greek locals and has a short annual tourist season. Stroll around Agina Town's quaint and narrow streets, enjoy some local Mediterranean cuisine, they've got lucamales here too. Take advantage of the crystal clear waters and definitely make time to watch some breathtaking sunsets. Take a short drive up narrow, twisty roads to see the Temple of Athea, formed in 500 BC. Interesting fact, this temple, the Parthenon, and the Temple of Poseidon form a near-perfect triangle. Aegina is home to some great hidden beaches, hiking trails, and a very relaxed atmosphere. Scope out local shops for unique fruits and veggies, and of course, try the pistachios. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Athens, Greece, and Aegina Island. Be sure to check out vegantravel.com for more on all things vegan travel.